my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop and then Ctrl N to bring about our new document. Now let's change here to pixels. Let's name it 1500. 1500. Let's set the resolution to 72 and then RGB color and then 8 bit scroll down and then leave it like this. Let's name it and then let's click on create. Okay, so we also start with our rulers as well. But the first thing I want us to do is to bring our image in there. And then once the image is in there, let's resize it. Click on OK. I'll go to filter, I'll go to blur, I'll go to Gaussian blur. And then I'll set the value to 20.8. All right, so that's it. Now I also want to give it a solid color as well. So go to solid color and then I'll choose this particular color code 0006FF. And I'll click on OK. Then I'll set the blending mode to let's use multiply. Let's use multiply. And then let's put it in a folder. So select both and put them in a folder. Ctrl G to put them in a folder. Let's call it BG. Now let's also start with our team. With our team, let's pick our text tool and then type over here. Pick these three details and then paste it over here. Now go to your character panel uh, and then go to paragraph and then click over here. And then click on the character here. And if you can't find your character, go to Windows. You'll find your character over here. All right. Now I'm going to use a different um, typeface or font. I want to use um, Steel Fish. So I'm going to leave it in the description for you. I also like to set um, here to extra bold. Nice, 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 nice. The font size I would like to use 175. And then I also like to set it at color white. Awesome. But then we are not yet done. Let's go here and set here to zero. It's beginning to look great. And then the lead in, let's set it to 154.45. Let's see. Awesome. Awesome. So let's click on your move tool over here and then move it. Move it somewhere here. We'll, we'll deal with the position later on. Okay, so we are done with that. Let's also go and pick um, our text tool again, sorry. And then type here, one nine. Nice, now we are using still fish. We are still using extra bold. For the font size, let's use five or two. Awesome. Let's set our rulers here. Pick, place it on top of the Place it on top of here as well, under here as well. Now pick your 19, click on the move tool and then move it somewhere here. Okay, so it aligns well. Pick your rectangular tool and then click over here and then draw a very small faint bar. Also want to set it to color white. And then you're going to move it, click on your move tool, move it somewhere here let's zoom in to see the details so somewhere here is good move your 19 also over there now you see I want I want the space between here and then here to be the exact space between here and here as well so at least it should seem the same to the eyes the eyes shouldn't be able to tell the difference now this is great Okay, let's also pick our rectangular tool and then click over here, drag it something like this. Alright, now make sure the fill is off. But then the stroke, let's set the stroke to color white. And then the size of the stroke, let's give it 7.63. 
great 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 let's push it up move to push it up a little bit let's give this particular one a mask this is where the mask is let's pick our brush go here and change it to a hard brush make sure here opacity is 100 the flow is 100 let's click over here to toggle between the black so the black comes up click on your brush make sure the caps lock is also off so that we can see the tip of the brush and then make sure you also click over here not not here please click over here <laughs> all right now let's clean it you can click on x to toggle between the black and white okay so when it's black i am deleting when it's white i am bringing back the white there so i think this looks great um then um, let's put it in a folder sorry let's put click here hold shift and then click here and then let's call it theme Control T and then let's bring it to the middle. Okay, now let's bring our foil, golden foil, on top of it. Hold shift and then just drag it like that. Create clipping mask. Let's see. Alright, so I think this one looks great. This looks great. Let's bring back our realize. Alright, so we are done with our theme. Now let's move on to the venue. Uh, let's click here and then let's add this. Paste the venue there. But for the venue, we are not going to use steel fish. Let's use Franklin. In fact, you're going to use Franklin Gothic. Franklin Gothic Heavy. I'm going to leave all the fonts in the description or the link to them in the description for you let's leave you at regular and then the size of the font let's choose 60. awesome for the tracking let's set the tracking to 40 and then we choose color white over here also make sure here is 101 and then here is 100 as well and then leave it like that let's align it close this one and then ctrl t to align it um, select it and then let's um, let's put it somewhere here. Let's duplicate it and come down. What is happening? Let's set here to hundred percent. Okay, it has hundred percent. Then let's close it. Now let's duplicate it and then bring it down. Let's pick this detail. And paste it there now for this one let's um, click here click here and then click over here as well good back to character and then um, let's set it to Franklin Gothic medium Franklin Gothic medium for the font size we are using 32 let's set here to 100 that's the tracking leave it at white kindly make sure it is centered or oh, it's aligned well okay duplicate it bring it down there then let's pick the last oh, sorry. the last detail for the venue double click here and then paste it there okay now with this let's set the font size to 20. but then we don't want to use franklin gothic menu we want to use franklin gothic book this one exactly and then let's set here to 170. also click over here to make it quite bolder and then let's set the color to color white close it and then send it up a little bit in the resurrection let's push it up a little bit let's give it 150 let's give it a bar go for your rectangular to 
and then just give it a very faint bar and then let's set the color of the fill to white just move it up move it up let's see what i sent it all right move it up nice 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 let's put everything in a folder and let's call it venue also let's bring our time and for the time let's pick this and paste it there drag it up a little bit open your character and then let's set it to franklin gothic medium let's set it to 30 and then let's set the tracking to 100 also make it color white but double click it and then this side oh that's the numbers let's make it color blue so we just pick the color from here also make it bold so go to paragraph and click over here now go back and duplicate it bring it down a little bit and then let's paste in the rest of this detail now this let's click here and pick this color over there and that is it pick your rectangular tool and just draw something here color white drag the layer down now let's zoom in and fix the details okay so now this layer selected as a rectangle click on your move tool and then just move it up move it up let's bring this one in a little bit and let's bring this one in a little bit as well all right let's zoom out let's type somewhere here and let's pick this and paste it there drag it up here now for this let's also give it franklin gothic heavy uh, make it regular make the font size 57 the tracking let's make it 40 and then click over here doesn't really matter but click over there let's click on this one to, to turn it off make it color white and then just move it somewhere here okay duplicate it bring it down let's pick october double click it paste it there for october we want it to be very small let's use franklin gothic medium for the font size let's set it to 14 awesome awesome for the tracking let's set it to thousand nice 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 make it color white as well let's zoom in and then let's move it somewhere here doesn't really matter well but let's make it at least judging from our eye let's set it somewhere here and then let's put everything in the folder which one is this okay put everything in the folder let's call it time ctrl t to select it and then as you know we align it that way now let's see how it looks like it looks quite kind of great it looks kind of great so far it looks great so far let's bring our logo let's type the details here and pick kingdom paste it there in fact for this one let's click over here and then go to character we are going to use cambria cambria and then make it regular set the font size to 32 and then click over here to make it quite bolder let's make it color white and then let's bring our rulers all right so that's it duplicated bring it down and then pick Adenta branch, double click it, 
and placed it there. Still using Cambria, still regular, still 32. But then for the tracking, with this one, let's set the tracking to zero. Hmm, that's nice. But with Adenta branch, let's set the tracking to 260. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then let's um, bring it down a little bit. Okay. Let's also take this one to turn it off. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's bring the logo itself. Set it somewhere here. All right. So let's put everything in a folder. Let's call it logo center it. If possible, let's bring it quite closer to it. Okay. And then our handles as well. Let's pick this and paste it there. And then we are going to use Franklin Gothic book let's set the font size to 13 yeah that's it and then let's set the track into 600 okay let's make it bold here let's make this one italics as well and then make it color white and the lesson is somewhere up let's see somewhere up here let's pick this now i want you to click here hold shift and just drag it as long as the shift is held it's going to create um how do we call this it's going to create a square for us don't make it too big just don't make it too big okay so something like this is great now go to the fill and turn it off I go to the stroke set it to color white now for the stroke for the size i want you to choose 4.43 click on it and then center it so you see the center is here now also make sure the center is here as well so the center is here the center is here too a little bit okay. uh, let's move this is not the center okay this is not the center this is the center let's see center is there center is there awesome so that means that from kingdom international all the way to the team we need to bring them down we need to bring them down also keep them centered as well and then let's add our last detail and that is this that is this add it to it i want us to drag this one up and then um let's what do we, let's go to our character we are going to use um trojan pro But for the font size, I am going to use 26. And then for the track, and I'm going to choose 7 or 0. So the color to color white. Right click it. And then rotate. That's after control T. Right click it and then rotate counterclockwise. And drag it somewhere here. If you like, can bring your rulers and then make sure it's also in the middle of it over here. And so ladies and gentlemen, this is how you create something like this. Um, if you love this tutorial, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well. And don't forget to leave some comments for me to review as well. I love you all guys. See you in the next tutorial. Peace!